So the next thing we want to do is we want to determine our geographic coordinate system or define our geographic coordinate system. And the reason we want to do this is so that we can properly locate the project in the world. So this particular site project is located in California and we're going to use a specific uh, geographic coordinate system located in California to uh, design our project. So to access the geographic coordinate system tools, we need to change the workflow from open site modeling to the drawing tab. We'll go over here to the utilities tab and you'll see we have the geographic location tools here. So I'm going to click the coordinate system button. It's going to open the geographic coordinate system tool. And from here is where we can go and actually search for the geographic coordinate system from a preset library that we have or a pre-configured library. So I'm just going to do a search. I know my project is, uh, or my particular geographic coordinate system is the NAD 1983 State Plain California uh, coordinate system. So I could come in here in the search field and just key in NAD 1983 State Plain California. And then we can do a search on that and see what it comes up with. So it's going to browse our library of coordinate systems and we can pick the one that's relevant to our particular project. So the one we want to use, so we want to make sure we grab the one that's in the proper units. So we're working in US survey feet and the one that we need to use is the EPSG 1026 Four, three. So this is the one that we want to use. So we're going to select that and we're going to click OK. That's going to attach that geographic coordinate system to our file. And that's so that we know where we are in the world when we start importing our existing terrain as well as if, when we uh, reference in other files that we're going to need for our project. Okay.